And just like that, we get a positive update in Lonzo Ball's recoveries. He's now running and cutting. We're going to talk about all and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. I'm the host there, Hayes. More importantly, you guys can follow the channel at Bulls Central Pod on every social media platform we happen to be on. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into a quick update today. So Billy Donovan said ahead of the game today that Lonzo Ball is starting to complete those running drills. He also said that the medical staff is pleased with Lonzo's movement as he has started running and cutting on the court. Now, this is something that Billy Donovan had mentioned prior, that the Bulls were hopeful that Lonzo Ball was going to be doing in January. He wasn't kind of caught up to that. Now, towards the middle of March, Lonzo Ball is now caught up to that point in his development. Now, keep in mind, this does not mean that he's going to be clear to return to basketball anytime soon. This is not an indication on his return to basketball. They're going to see how he's ramping up. The fact that the medical staff is positive right now in what he's been doing in running and cutting, though, is a good sign that it's moving in the right direction. Lonzo still has a long road ahead of him. Outside of just the running and cutting and, and things like that, it's still going to be how his body responds to it. So as we've seen with Lonzo before, when he's tried to ramp up previously, his body hasn't responded very well to it. So let's see if that, if that does not happen this time. And if that does, if Lonzo Ball continues running and cutting, we don't know the, the determinant like, amount of time they're going to be reviewing that. But if, he, if his body responds well to that, you could see then him move on to the next step of that. Whatever that is, we don't know right now what the next step of that uh, progress would be for Lonzo Ball in that recovery. But the fact that we're into the area now where he is running and cutting, which is much better in, in, than where he was even just a couple of weeks ago when Billy Donovan said he wasn't able to run, it's a good sign for Lonzo Ball to return to basketball. The Bulls still have tons of things to ask themselves, though. If Lonzo Ball is, even is kind of cleared and ready to go, what, he's gonna be, what is he going to be able to really bring to the team is a big question there as well. And, you know, what level that you expect him on. In any case, no matter what happens with Lonzo Ball, if and when he does return to the basketball court, he's going to have an extreme minutes restriction on him. It's just going to be the nature of what happens there. And how he responds to that over time, he's probably not going to play back-to-backs, things like that, if he's able to be cleared. But at least right now, it is a progative prognosis, an update on Lonzo Ball's ability to maybe return back to the game of basketball. And so that's really good. Don't want to take anything negative away from that. Any type of positivity for the Chicago Bulls and all the uncertainty that they have around their uh, their team and, and decisions that they have to make this offseason, it's going to be important. Now, I want fans, though, to temper their expectations, especially big Lonzo Ball fans. I need everybody to temper their expectations. This is not an indication of him being cleared. This is not an indication of him being ready to go by the start of the season. And even if those things do happen, the chance of Lonzo Ball in the last year of his contract returning in a major way for the Chicago Bulls is very, very slim. Does not mean that it's not going to happen. We'll end up seeing what that long-term prognosis is going to look like for him. But I just want everybody to temper those expectations. And let's just be patient as we get updates over this. And shout out to Billy Donovan. The mo- most updates that we've gotten in regards to Lonzo Ball's situation and his recovery have come from Billy Donovan in press conferences like this. He's been very forthcoming in regards to, to the situation with Lonzo Ball and his recovery. So shout out to Billy Donovan on that. But let me know, Bulls fans, what do you guys think? When you hear now that Lonzo Ball is doing some running, is doing slight cutting on, that, on the court, and that he's responded well at least so far, I think that's a really encouraging sign for it. And we'll see. There hasn't really been a lot of encouragement for it uh, overall. So, you know, we'll end up seeing the, the last update again from Billy Donovan wasn't this. And we got to see if he's going to avoid some setbacks. So, you know, they they hope that he's going to be uh, ready to start at the 2024-25 season. Let's hope that Lonzo Ball doesn't suffer any setbacks so we can keep getting more and more clarity on what that future of Lonzo Ball is going to be for the Chicago Bulls as soon as next season. And the last season of his deal, which he's more than likely to pick up that player option, now, this, if Lonzo Ball is ready to go, that is going to put a big hamper uh, on the Chicago Bulls, potentially, uh, you know, their cap space situation, because then they're not going to file for the career-ending injury exception. But we'll see what happens with that. At the end of the day, I know that this Bulls team would rather have Lonzo Ball back than not have him back. And in an offseason where you may lose DeMar DeRozan, see what happens with Zach Levine, to be able to get Lonzo back, no matter what the capacity of that, is going to be something that the front office is going to look at as a positive, because then you're adding a player with some really good defense and basketball IQ. It's just the question of 
how impactful he's going to be on the court once he's able to make it. But let me know what you guys think is always down below. Make sure you're following the show at Bull Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns. BullCentralPod at gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail for the mailbag, the number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. Thanks to you guys. And like I like to end every episode on, go Bulls. Love you guys. See you right if you can, y'all. Peace. This has been a presentation of The Break Break Media. 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 Media.